Seems a pleasant enough thing. Shane Bardolf thought dark magic was the answer. Excuse me, did you say something about a Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts so that he's been held captive, or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Ranrock's loyalists are a menace. What can be done? Madame Beaumont, might I speak with you? Yes. What about? Mrs. Sprottle told me a little about your brother's disappearance. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolf herself if she could. She mentioned dark magic and even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolf's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. But then one day... He didn't come home. Could Bardolf have run off? No. He'd never leave me here alone. He did speak of going to talk with Victor Rookwood. That worries me almost more than his attempts at mastering dark magic. Rookwood is as dangerous as Ranrock, in my opinion. Is there anything your brother took with him that might help to track him down? Mm, only his satchel, journal, and a woolen jumper I knitted for him. That's all I can recall. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. I should be going now. Thank you. Bardolf, where are you? I'll not give up hope.
Velio. An entry from Bardolf's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. Revelio. This mentions in theory, and something about it being Bardolf's turn next. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Up a hog's field is being terrorized by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. Madame Beaumont, I do have some news of your brother. Oh, please tell me he's safe. I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an inferior, and I had to kill him. What? But how could you possibly think that an inferior was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand knitted. <gasps> no, no, this can't be. <sighs> I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont.